Hello and welcome to this video for the MAG 10400 and 10450. The service center stands for all of Magnematics sharpeners and blade cleaners. We're going to go through the full unboxing and assembly of the stands. We'll also go through all of the accessories that fit on the stand as well. Uh, first couple things to get yourself ready, do go through the manual. It does uh, go through step by step every process, which is what we'll do here. Uh, make sure you have some 7 16 combination wrenches, half inch and 9 16 You'll need a square and a level. To make the process a little faster, you can use an impact gun. That'll make things a little easier. So let's get into it. Make sure when checking the inventory as you're unpacking to look at the manual to make sure you have all the pieces. The first piece we'll pull out here is the stand tabletop for a sharpener, the manual. The next bundle is the hardware bags and the leveling feet. This is the balancer arm. Next is the brace and base that supports the balancer arm, and lastly, the four legs. Take note of the drawing in the lower right-hand corner. It shows how the short lips of the column have to be on the inside. You'll also notice the three-hole pattern of each side has to be all at one end. That is where the legs mount. You'll notice we started putting the bolts in the top of the stand, working our way down the column. We're going to leave the last hole empty because it's shared with the legs. We will be building this stand for a MAG 8000 and all the accessories. Here again, make sure that you have the two ends of the column correct. The two holes at one end are for the stand table top. And the three hole pattern at the other end are for the legs. You'll notice on the leg, there are two sets of this three hole pattern for two stand mounting heights. Now before we put the legs on, we'll start with one of the accessories, the large grinding wheel shelf. You will have to remove one of the column bolts that you initially put in because it is shared for the mounting of the shelf. While the grinding wheel shelf can be put on any one of the four sides in any one of the three bolt patterns along the column, it is generally best on the side opposite the two holes that we pointed out for the stand tabletop.
Here are the brackets for the MAG200 dust collector. You'll see how they interlock. They too share one of the column bolts, so you may have to remove a column bolt if you are putting the brackets on the stand. Generally speaking, when you plan out which way you're going to put your tabletop, the dust collector is best on the right side of the stand. Now we're ready for the legs. And again, note, there are two mounting heights. One height will be to have the stand tabletop at 38.5 inches, and the taller setting is at 41.25 inches. We're going to be using the taller setting. One important note in this stand build is we're doing the accessories before the legs so that we can reach up the bottom of the column. Otherwise, it's much more difficult to reach down from the top. And in this build, the reason we're doing the legs now is we will have a bottom cover to put on that closes off the bottom of the stand. And this is part of the wheel kit. So just to further clarify, if you had purchased the stand without a dust collector, a shelf, or the wheel kit, you would have put the legs on right after building the column. Here's that bottom cover we mentioned. Now the tabs that are going to fit into the column are threaded, so you do not need nuts to install the bottom cover. It is easier to first assemble the wheels to the caster bracket and then assemble the whole caster bracket to the stand as an assembly. The best position for the wheel kit is on the front of the stand, but again, the front of the stand will change depending on which sharpener or blade cleaner, which machine you're mounting on it, because that determines which orientation the table is going to go. So do make sure to look at the manual when planning out accessories. Next we'll install the leveling feet. It's important that you first put one 3 8 nut on and then put it through the stand leg and then add the second 3 8 nut. 
this sandwiching will allow you to set your level. When you assemble the balancer stand brace, it is important to leave these bolts loose. Do not tighten them right away because the stand tabletop will go on next and the base of the balancer arm will fit between these two plates. So you'll actually have a stack of three plates that two one inch bolts will be going through. Again, leave these bolts loose. It will allow you clearance to adjust. Now we're installing the U-shaped bracket that will be the balancer arm base. Note it slips between the balancer arm brace and the tabletop. This is where you use those two longer one inch bolts to go through all three plates. Now it's time to install the balancer arm. You may notice the stand in the background is set up for a MAG 9000, where the stand we are currently working on is set up for a MAG 8000. When installing the blade carrier, it's important to note that there is a rubber washer between every surface. So when you install this, you should have one under the head of the bolt, one between the tabletop and the blade carrier, and then one rubber washer under the nut.
Remember that the bases of the sharpeners and blade cleaner are threaded. So you simply need the one bolt to come up through the bottom of the tabletop and thread into the base of the unit. Lightly compress the rubber feet. Next, we can hang the dust collectors on each system. When attaching the hoses, it may be beneficial to clean out the inside of the hose. Sometimes they're a little bit oily and will not stay on the powder coated surface. Here you can see all three systems together and the difference between the two tabletops. The sharpener tabletop is the same for both sharpeners, just turned in a different orientation. Now we can hook up the magnetic LED task lights to each system. And this concludes our video for the MAG 10400 and MAG 10000 450. Here you can see the stand in all its configurations with a MAG 9000, a MAG 8000, and the MAG 12008 blade cleaner. Thank you for watching. Hey, thank you again for watching. We certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe for new content as we release it.